Hello and welcome to today's little uh, Friday FFA basically. Unfortunately, well, um, there, could, there couldn't be a stream today because it is still sick, so I have to record this little game. I hope it's not going to be too long, considering uh, we also only have two familiar people today, which are Soldier, Sir Soldier, and GT Pepper, and me, of course. Um, and the rest is random people. However, I think that these randoms can pack quite a punch. Quite a few of them have quite a nice number of wins. But we'll see how they will fight and perform and is the, did the game sound reset itself again. Uh, one second. It's still a little bit too loud. Now it's too quiet. This should be good. So... Yeah. Friday FFA. And I think this might be... It might be shorter than usual, which is a good thing or a bad thing, considering whatever kind of direction you like for the FFAs. If you don't like them, it's of course better that they are shorter. But um, if you like them, it can be quite annoying, considering that um, you spend less time watching something that you like. However, I think if you watch videos on this channel, you'll probably like everything. Every mode, every option. Or else I'm just wrong with everything again. Might also be an, op uh, an option, but we'll see how that works out. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, quite the idea of how to of how to set the resources onto 5k. So um, we'll have to make do with 4k. Which unfortunately I don't have a strategy for this uh, type of resource mode, but um, we'll make something work. And if it's just myself. The most annoying thing about this mode I think is just the lack of the town hall instantly. At least I don't have an idea how to make this, apart from uh, getting short on one barrack, which, is, which, which isn't which is quite a thing that I would like to do, considering that my army is uh, consisting of infantrymen. Well, not infantrymen, but uh, musketeers. Basically infantry, you get the idea. I hope that this time I'm going to find my third and fourth gold mine. It looks good. Last game I didn't find them, which wasn't very good, but um, I still won. Probably because my enemy kind of failed to play. But uh, we cannot blame him. He plays even less than I do, so... And apparently there's only three mines. Um, Yeah, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so terrible at hosting. We can only hope that Call of It gets gets uh, healthy soon enough, so so we don't have to endure my uh, my incompetence at hosting. I'm on the best way to get the next town hall, however my economy doesn't look too good, considering that I only had two for you most of the time. I probably have to sit back for a while and uh, develop my economy a little bit further beyond the peacetime. Hopefully not for too long though, because I don't really enjoy camping.
at least we can get the gold mines upgraded fairly soon so that we uh, get, a little, get a little bit more of gold income. Should help us out. I'm very sorry if, it, if it's quite annoying that I click so fast between Market and Academy, but uh, I want to get these upgrades and I don't exactly uh, know the most efficient way to get them. It's my strategy and uh, whilst it is true that it is quite old and quite archaic actually, quite outdated, it's uh, still my strategy, so I'd like to use it of course. And I probably should put the peasants into my gold mine instead of just upgrading it. So many economic problems at this mode. To be honest, I didn't quite intend it or think about that it would affect me this much actually. Indeed, I thought that it would affect me, but uh, not in this scale. My diplomatic center is about one minute late now. I mean, it's not too horrible, but uh, it's still a bit of a setback in my opinion. I should probably put these in sounds a little bit lower. So you don't have to hear this constant market market jingle or whatever that is or me clicking randomly around like always At least as I am the host I can finally see how efficient my men really are in battle, means I can uh, see how many people they killed. Like uh, for example, I thought I killed a, a, a drummer but apparently these are not displayed during peacetime. Quite uh, irritating but I will get through it. After all it's just something that shows how many people you killed efficiently. And I don't know what this guy is planning to do. We'll stop him in his tracks though. Or better said, we'll probably take the hill before they can. So that then um, we can actually control the hill earlier so we have the advantage so we don't have to charge the hill which is a win-win for me and a lose-lose for him so we obviously want to do this option the economy is flourishing get it because corn flour it's wheat flour okay I'll stop I'm very sorry, but when I record and commentate alone without Color, who stops me from doing these puns, uh, these will happen more frequently, but I'll try to cut it down. So that you don't have to indulge my, my jokes forever. Or and you? I don't actually know which word is correct, but uh, one of these is certainly correct.
So the peace time will end soon. I'll have to make my formations ready. I don't know if that's just some kind of scout battalion or if he's really trying to take the hill before me. Either way, it is uh, not exactly nice to see. But we'll get to deal with it. After all, it wouldn't be Scotland if it wouldn't be strong. Especially on hill fights. Because the highlands are basically nothing, nothing but hills. Now we'll take a little bit of damage, but that's not too major damage. We can... we can tank that. I probably shouldn't um, put all of my peasants onto buildings. But my entire economy is based on food. And all my peasants are thereby on food. Will result in a rather unpleasant experience, I think. And I don't know what's, what the plan of this guy is. He's just standing around. To be honest, I don't even know if he's even got his fire rate upgrade. Because my men are just shooting them way too fast. Ah, and apparently my prediction was wrong. I didn't have to sit around after the peacetime ended. Entirely the other way around. I am taking somebody on who seems to have sat around for too long. Quite efficiently, because he doesn't even have fodder. That's actually sad, but um, I cannot feel pity for him. After all, this is a free-for-all and the rules are basically unwritten. So he'll, he'll gotta deal with it. This poor lad. Alright, let's get some archers on the way. Nah, not, not unlimited. We'll only need a few archers, so we can burn this shit down. Uh, I mean the stuff, sorry. I shouldn't swear. Wouldn't be very professional, I guess. And I don't know what the others are doing. I don't see any change in the scores, so I don't think there's any action going on at the moment. Very confusing. I had hoped that at least Stepper would do something, but it doesn't even look like he is doing something. Currently it looks like I was the only one who even attacked somebody. But the good thing is as soon as I dealt with this guy's base, I can directly move on to the next one. Meaning that I'll learn to play like a real color fit one day, at least in the FFA kind of things. And apparently somebody is going to be defeated. Um, Querde, I think. I hope I didn't botch that name, though I think I certainly did. I'm not the greatest at pronouncing Spanish or whatever that's supposed to be. I almost thought that he got his building upgrade there, but uh, he didn't, luckily for me. Rather bad for him, but um, I don't really mind that. And this little raid is going to be so intercepted. Epic fail, my friend. But I don't blame you, you're pretty much dead anyway.
Alright, so this guy is pretty much dealt with. So I can move my army to the next guy. And uh, hopefully we'll have as much as much success with him as we had with this guy. But I doubt it, considering that I don't think he fought anybody during this time period. So I'll stack a little bit up on the recruitment. And get some more barracks rolling. And I also should keep using my archers right here. Maybe I can take some of these mines of his. After all, I don't think he is going to need them anymore. I think that the times of him needing mines are counted. However, I should probably think about making another one or two or three, even three mills so I can uh, keep my peasants collecting at all times. Which is what I want, otherwise my economy is just going to break down like some kind of old chair. And apparently somebody's already calling out for help. I think that this call call of help will be uh, will be left unanswered. What is this? Oh, I thought that somebody attacked my archers. I was wrong. Good for me. Apparently Beppa is uh, already taking refugees. I hope that he isn't going to vassalize them as well, otherwise uh, I'm going to have a problem. And I hear gunshots somewhere. I don't exactly know where though. Uh, apparently here, and it's the cavalry of PDRSI. Which are not quite nice to me. And one guy has quit. How unfortunate. And my archers are going to put down one or two volleys at these knights. Before my archers go finally down. They did a great job. Yeah. But as we all know archers are rather useless against knights. So um they don't stand a chance. But I'm curious what he's going to do next, if he's going to move on to me or if he's just going to go somewhere else. Second idea would be probably more healthy for him. But sometimes people choose to pick the rather unpleasant way for them. Apparently he's just going to sit at my mind. That's okay as well. Um, apparently I even forgot to make my last gunpowder upgrade and now he's going to go for me. Oh boy. No common sense these people, but um, who could blame them? They don't know what's awaiting them. No, I don't want my armor to be disorganized. I'm going to get the balloon so I can talk about the things that are going on in the entire game instead of just my own things. Might actually be beneficial for the course of um, recording this game. Ah, he made the wise decision to run away again. I think that this guy is not days are counted so I'm going to move on to yellow. PRDSI. Yeah, the randoms unfortunately seem to all perform rather poorly. This'll 
most likely come down to a one versus one of Beppa and me. And he's got the depressions, which might actually be a little bit hard of a time, but um, I'm sure we can we'll be able to pull something out. Even if it's not much, I'll still try to put up the best fight that I can, as always. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Apparently he knows what I'm up to. But uh, that's actually a nice 400 formation. But I think that I cannot strategize him, considering he made the wise decision to build his gate right in front of a hill. And he is apparently even moving out of there. I think he's going to get killed from my hill position if he doesn't move any smarter now. And he doesn't, means that he'll get some major damage. That's a lot of damage. But uh, obviously my musketeers cannot shoot down gates, so yeah, I'll have to use my round here for this. That's probably going to be a little bit risky, but um, we'll have to do it, otherwise we cannot go through. And that wouldn't be very helpful. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so let's do this. I'm sure that my men are, are way superior either way. And apparently, oh, his knights are back. The knights are back and they are going to try and give me a bad time. But my muskets are here, my shears are here. And so they are going to have the bad time instead. And oh, he's got a lot of knights. I should probably re reform my entire army, which I'm also going to do, of course. This isn't quite a pleasant situation, is it? I'm going to charge in. There's not a lot I can do about this situation with the knights, so I'll have to make the best of it and use my round sheer smart. Because apparently the, the randoms don't really have a need for food for fodder, so their musketeers will die rather easily against mine, because I have fodder. Oh, this wasn't exactly good, but uh, it's still working out, because my men are just way way more in numbers at, at this point. I should probably get some archers here, but however, I think that my army is probably going to be enough anyway. I'll uh, get some Siege Cossacks though, so I can at least wipe up these green peasants. I'm not accepting any refugees. Everybody is going to be forced to submit to my militarical force, to my militaristic force. And those who don't are going to die. That's a simple logic that Kingdoms and Empires have followed for centuries, so that will work out. Oh, Hakepolita cavalry. That's actually an interesting sight. You don't see these every day. And uh, you don't see no coal every day either. Oh. Yeah, this wasn't very good. There were just way too many, I think. Yeah, there wasn't a lot I, can't, I could do. But um, next time we'll do better. This game's already going on for half an hour. Going pretty swell right now. Apart from the fact that Beppa seems to grow more and more unstoppable. Oh, that was a little freeze. 
I hope that uh, this won't happen again. I don't need this many Siege Cossacks, I think. Yeah, apparently my bad host uh, capabilities are showing rather good here. Uh, not rather good, I mean, uh, rather definitely. Or something like that, you'll get the idea. And I don't think that my Siege Cossacks will actually win this, but uh, mm, a little bit of damage is going to benefit me either way. Well, at least I distracted them a little bit from work, so um, that works too. Now he's in the 18th century, and I don't know why nobody else is fighting each other apart from Sonic having destroyed uh, Querde, I think. Or Querd? I'm not sure how to pronounce this uh, still. But nobody else is fighting except for Sonic against Quert and Peppa against this green guy, Yora. Which is a disappointing. Ouch. Uh, this wasn't very pleasant for the ears. I hope this go isn't going to be on the video, but it's probably going to be, so I'll, I apologize. And I hope this won't happen again, but um. My farms seem to be rather quickly at depleting, even though I've got all upgrades that make them uh, have more content, basically. That sounds like a bad DLC. Cossack 3, the farmer DLC. And I bet some people would even buy it. But who, who am I to judge? It is time for some stables, because I think that my barracks are just too expensive at this point. Uh, this isn't too much, but uh, it's something. And I still haven't upgraded my archers. I keep forgetting things when I commentate, so um, I hope you'll be a little bit patient with me. I think next up will be a barrack again. And this guy with his knights is coming again. I don't know what his job is, but um, if he wants to kill them, I'll, I'll happily agree and help him, because that's what gentlemen do. Apparently he isn't going to go for me, he's going for Yoda, which is uh, proving to be rather inefficient, considering that his knights, they are pretty good at melee, but they really aren't good against musketeers or dragoons, and masters of course. Against musketeers and small amounts, they are certainly one of the best units to use. But um, in bigger battles, if you don't use them as fodder, rather than uh, you use them like a shock unit, they are not going to perform as well. Like this. A total massacre, which is going to happen every time if you use your knights like this, so you always move them with your fodder or your musketeers if you use them. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time, and you'll waste your cavalry, which isn't a, th a thing that everybody wants, except for your enemies. Your allies wouldn't want it, you wouldn't want it, so why do that? This is also the first time that I ever used 6 mils instead of 3. Usually I use 2 or 3 mils, which are fairly enough, but uh, today... No, today is I need way more than usual.
making the perfect compression is a kind of art already, for me at least. And every time I try to do this, it uh, ends up just disorganizing itself again anyway. So I'll probably just do it for the aesthetics because I'm kind of... Uh, I don't know what the word is called, the professional thing for this, but... Um, oh, oh, apparently somebody wants to die. Yeah, I don't know what the word for this is called, I think it's something like... Uh, I don't know, this kind of thing where you have to do everything perfectly. Almost like that. PTSD, I'm not sure. But don't worry, I have that stuff. I'm just a little bit perfectionistic. Now my economy is finally getting some, uh, some push up. Which is going to benefit me greatly, of course. And I think that it is not going to benefit him at all, considering he just uh, wrote his own death letter, basically. My little cavalry squad is ready and uh, going to be used as well to destroy this little stone mine here. To distract his main forces that they go down here so my army can uh, mobilize this way. It should work out, I think. Uh, this doesn't go like planned, but uh, my cavalry is still fast enough to catch the most of them and kill them before I'll fall back again. Stop moving, you idiots. The classic strategy for me. Always nice to see it, at least for me. Because most of the time the enemy just doesn't know how to respond. Apparently he does know how to respond, but uh, it's not going to be very good. Yeah, this was an absolute massacre. Good for me, bad for him. Because I'm not going to let him live. Where's the smithy? I'm not sure where his smithy is actually. Ah, there it is. Next time I should probably open my eyes. Very good. One archer volley is enough to get a building to kill level. Which is just enough for me. To work with. And Yoda has quit. I'm sorry, my friend, but uh, you put the uh, you picked the wrong place to, uh, or, the, or the wrong time to get lost in my territory. A little bit of damage, but nothing too major. For now I fall back because I'm sure that if I would try to kill PDRSI again, that uh, Sir Soldier would come back. 
And I don't want to mess with this Arnie of Hackapalita cavalryman at all. Because that's uh, that's not a fun time. Apparently Querda wants to paint the door with a pen, but uh, I think that he actually means to put a gate in it. Or to penetrate it, I'm not sure. Both might be actually the case, considering that I don't actually know what's going on in his head. And uh, I think that's, be that's probably better as well. And I think I've got enough peasants by now. 510, that's clearly good enough. And I of course need more gold, because you can never have enough gold in this game. I'm going to wait a bit for my next formation. Instead I'm going to make some more officers and drummers. That bagpipers I mean. We might see the big battle between Sonic and Bepper, but I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Sonic seems to be... From the randoms out of perspective, he seems to be the most skilled player of them. Considering that he actually uses formation and compression and fodder. Whilst, uh, yeah. This guy still doesn't use his diplomatic center, nor does he even have one. I'm very sorry if this is a little bit boring because uh, everybody is so bad. Not an offense, by the way. Against, uh, compared to me, Soldier, and Bepper, but, um,. I don't know, nobody reserved except for Vepper. So uh, yeah, we only see him. Now I've got way too much wood. And I'm also sorry because I noticed that, that the game is getting very laggy with 10 FPS or so, but um, my computer is clearly not good enough for this kind of situation where there's quite a few people not fighting, basically. And what is this guy up, up to again? I'm going to visit him. I don't really know what this guy wants with his musketeers. He doesn't even have his knights or cuirassiers with him. So I'll just make a full on horde attack, like Genghis Khan. Thumbs up if you know the reference. Because this is looking exactly like this when I usually play the Carnate in the FFA games. I miss the times, but uh, the counter strategy is very hard to pull off and very inefficient. Uh oh. And the big red blob is moving up against me. He's mobilizing. That's clearly not very good for me, considering that my army is way smaller than his. But I'll try to make a, a good stand for it. Considering that this hill... Uh, well, he, he can't take it, but... Uh, he won't be able to use it because I can simply stay out of range. I'll need some more houses. Exactly. Dwellings needed. Let's get him some dwellings, boys. And I know that Beppa is moving up, don't worry. i just construct some more houses right here. And as I thought, he's going to take the hill. And as I said, it's not going to be efficient for him, because I can simply stay out of range. If this hill would be like here or so, then, uh, then I would have a bad time indeed. But uh, like this, uh, I can stay a little bit out of range and build up some more radar cavalrymen and uh, overall infantry.
maybe my archers will be my savior again, as they usually are, because my archers are awesome. And I forgot to give them the last upgrade, and I even forgot to use one castle. That is uh, actually a shaming, but um, as I said, I keep forgetting stuff when I'm talking whilst playing, but so that's usually a thing that I do rarely. Oh god, I shouldn't look at this army. But I'll definitely counter his strategy of Deus voting me. Because these gods are Catholic as well. At least I think they are. I'm not sure what's actually the major the majority religion in Scotland. But um this is the wrong channel for this anyway. Besides, I think it will be most probably the Anglican, the Anglican Church, Church, or however it's called. And I need more houses again. The struggle with the houses, I almost feel like you, like um. And I almost feel like Russia or Algeria, which these nations usually usually struggle with their population limit. And he's getting off the hill. What a interesting decision. But I'm not going to mind it. Oh god, I'm so sorry for the game being so laggy. That's such that's that's so disgraceful. Is he falling back? I'm not sure what he's trying to do. I think he's actually going to charge in. Which is an interesting choice, but um once more I'm not going to fight against that. I'm going to move up my reinfor my resi my um my last troops that I'm having ready in my supply and then uh, oh god the game is so like I'm not sure if I can actually re recover or order this attack come on Raider Cavalrymen get through there ah this isn't going to work out Where's my archers? I need to click one of my archers. There they are. Alright, now I need some very good hits. Actually, I think that I am lost. Ah, but I didn't... I didn't let him go there without taking major damage himself. Oh my god, that's way too much for me. Alright, let's do it. Let's put the lights off like real men. Apparently his Susas are falling back, which is unfortunate for me. Alright, I am not going to recover, because that would just slow down my game.
This is an actually nice cavalry engagement. I think that the soldier is actually going to win this because, well, um, as he stated in the chat, I think, at, at least I think that it was him, he felt uh, dirty for camping. So this cavalry army is actually way bigger than it looks like. And it can probably make make some quick work with Beppa's musketeers because as far as I know, I don't think Beppa is one of these persons that you actually upgrade their melee and defense on, on, their, on their musketeers. Which is also an explanation why he's actually falling back. And the Hakim Palitas inflicted some major damage, but they also took a lot of damage right here in the big cavalry engagement. And Beppa is going to... That's not a lot of, a lot of an army. Over here it looks like it's more. So I definitely inflicted some damage. And I don't know why this guy PDRSI is still here. He still doesn't have any fodder. And um, I don't even think that he constantly makes units. Well, probably from the barracks, but uh, this doesn't look like constant production from the from the town halls. Even though I almost destroyed him once. Apparently, Soldier is not going for Curacias instead of Hakepalita or Hussars. That's actually an interesting choice because people usually like to stick with their fast cavalry, um, like Beppa, for example, but uh, right here, like Beppa, for example. Or they use Dragoons like this guy, or Call of It sometimes, but uh, you don't really see Curacias this often anymore, this guy uses them as well. You don't really see slow moving cavalry and combat fish combat strong melee cavalry anymore. You only when they are re really fodder intense battles. Or somebody plays like Turkey or something like that. When they uh and even then they'd probably rather use Tatars instead of the instead of the heavy Sipahi. Even though the heavy Sipahi they aren't as bad as they look like they can shred through the Hussars if they engage them. It's just like with, like with the uh, winged Hussars and and the and the knight cavalry. The knights will just tear through the winged Hussars, but uh, the problem is they mostly won't engage them because the winged Hussars are obviously f very very much faster. And now Sonic seems to try and go for Vapa or not. I don't know why, he could have taken this hill so easily and t defended it so easily. This is the nicest hill template you could say that I know in this game and it probably is the officially nicest template for a hill in the game. Considering you could even build towers on this thing and walls and an entire base. Well, not an entire base probably, but a big portion of it. And over here still camping, that's quite sad. Time for a quick checkup on the recording. Alright, still going. We almost hit the one hour um, mark. I hope that I can even um, compress this and uh, send it off to color to upload before the day actually ends. <laughs> because my internet really isn't good. But I don't know what Peppa's actually trying to do. He's moving his peasants, but um, he doesn't ap appear to build mines in my old base, nor does he take them in the old base of Variak. Yes, I think it was Variak. He's he's going for stone economy, which is surprising me. Then again, that's probably only surprising me because I always go for food. I'm a strict food person. I don't believe in other economies considering uh, food is easier to protect than stone. So um, I definitely prefer the food economy because I'm not running in danger of getting raided by dragoons or hussars and lose a sub 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 substantial part of my economy like this. Even though the stone economy is probably a tiny bit better. 
and that wasn't very um, yeah I don't really believe in other, econ other economist in food even though he has a little bit of food economy I think that's mostly only for the sake of him not having to buy any food which is smart too indeed but um, yeah enough of that you've got my opinion and um, I don't know what to say about that else <laughs> I'm curious how much this economy is going to expand further, considering that, uh, is he even still building peasants? He's still building peasants. And Pepper's also... I'm not sure why he's actually going for the 18 spikes, considering that his population limit might actually hit the cap soon, I'm not sure. His army looks quite huge. And um, he has a ton of houses, I can imagine they actually cost tons now. Like uh, 2 or 3k per house, which is uh, ridiculous, but um, it's balancing reasons. Probably his economy can sustain building some of these super expensive houses, but I wouldn't really provoke it. And Sonic is moving on, probably to engage with Pepper. I'm not sure what this guy is trying to do again. Because he's once more move, moving out only one of his unit types. I can't imagine that this is for scouting. Now he's moving his shooters, but... Uh, it's quite a delay of orders. And I think that Quert has given up. Or is he AFK? I'm not sure. There's nothing coming out of his barracks. He has Smithy in the stable as well. Nothing coming out of them. And uh, yeah, he's even using both the Pipemen and Musketeers, which is a classical noob strategy. So, uh, Gwert, if you see this, we've got some uh, nice tutorials on the channel that can help improve your strategy if you noticed that this strategy, like Pikes and Musketeers, don't really help. However, I doubt that you'll watch this video anyway, so I don't even know, I'm just talking to myself. And why... Is he actually going for the 17th Dragoons instead of the 18th Dragoons? He appears to not have... No, he is going for the 18th Dragoons, okay, so that's probably just some remnants of his older... of his uh, earlier game. And what is going on here? Quert seems to have no coal and iron. Actually, he does now. He just traded for it, I guess. But uh, he's, he's not going to find a lot of success in killing these Musketeers with his Dragoons. Considering his dragoons remind me of hips dragoons in the uh, in the tournament that was um, recently held, where hips dragoons were the f were the slowest ones shooting for the entire game. It was quite a hilarious sight, but um, enough of that. The tournament is over. We are in this game now. I'm not sure what they, what Peppa and Sonic are planning to do, considering that Sonic's army is rather poorly positioned, his fodder is behind his musketeers. I don't even think that, that some of them are formated. But uh, that's okay, I should probably get out of this, so um, I don't um, risk a crash of the recording or, or lag in the recording that will make my voice sound weird, because I'm basically talking all the time. And actually I think it's I don't know why it's easier to talk about games like this instead of the stream. Probably because I can just talk about random stuff that's going on because everybody is... Uh, well, not everybody is doing something different. I can just find different topics to talk about. 
I don't know if that's actually a common thing again of streamers and uh, YouTube video makers, but um, it'll be quite it will be quite interesting if that would be actually the case. And I think that PDRSI or L is actually going to support Sonic in this battle. At least from the looks of it, I don't know if he's actually going to do that or if he's going to charge to charge Sonic from this side. With his army post like this, I would say he's going for Sonic, but um, the future is still open. He is definitely using the most inefficient formation for his musketeers, at least against infantry. Except if they are surrounded, completely surrounded by infantry, then this is probably one of the most effective formations. But um, it's rather an anti-cavalry formation. At least historically, this formation was used against Hussars, Cuirassiers, charging cavalry units basically and it was very effective I can tell and the big battle has started and I cannot watch this because it's just lagging way too hard I'm so sorry we'll have to look on the minimap to see and determine who won this battle and it doesn't look too good for Sonic because he got a very bad en engagement angle and he's even getting flanked from the top from Beppa. Yeah, this is not going to work out for him considering he almost lost all of his fodder and his musketeers are getting heavily cut down and his dragoons are well of, as well of course. What nation is he in? He's England. Okay, that's, that's understandable. He did manage to defeat the northern flank though, however his main army is getting completely shredded by Beppa's superior firepower. I don't know why these musketeers are actually trying to run away. Did some of Sonic's men manage to get into close combat right there? It's probably too late to tell anyway, so um, we'll... Oh, and the big charge of PDRSL comes. It is not going to be very efficient because he's just charging in his cavalry as a shock unit. With Curiosiers, and there's so many musketeers of Pepper. As I earlier said, if you use them as fodder, the Curiosiers, they are one of the best units to use as fodder. One of the best units, certainly not the best units because of their rather low amount. But if you use them as the as a fodder unit, you'll you'll be better off than using them as a shock unit. As a shock unit, you can use them against pikemen, fa fair enough, but not against musketeers. Pepper uh, is still running away. Which is actually a surprise for me. Probably because of... No, his Musketeer army is not moving at all. Beppa actually botched him himself an easy victory like this. Now he has to take some casualties. It's not going to be much, but uh, it's a little bit. And these curious is actually stood their ground longer than I thought. Probably because of their pretty good bullet armor. I think it's 10 or 11. I'm not sure if he actually has the curious upgrades because I cannot look in. Uh, actually, I can look into the statistics. He appears to not have any curious upgrades. Oh, actually, he has one, apparently. Hmm. One is one too low, but um, it's still something. That'll still give them plus two protection against bullets, which can uh, be very cru crucial, especially if you use if you use the curiosities in these numbers. I really like the curiosities design, though. Nice armor, nice horse, nice sword. But uh, that's uh, off the point. Oh, and he's directly standing in Beppa's houses. Ow, oh, this hurts to look at, to be honest. But for the sake of the recording, I look at it. That's already a lot of damage, and it's going to be more damage soon. Oh no, that's a lot of damage. And now here comes the Hussars. 
they'll they will not win on their own but they uh, they actually were used very inefficient by weapon right here i think he thought that this must be this were weaker The Musketeers of Yellow are actually shooting quite slowly, but they do have their fire rates, probably just because of, the, because of their low numbers. And he could have potentially won this battle if he used his Curious Tears as fodder, because Dapa's army isn't very big at this point. The, uh, the battle with Sonic kind of crushed him. Oh god, this uh, soldier is such a bad camper. I don't know what he's doing with these now. He, yes, he's going to send them back home. The right decision. And we have uh, already hit the one hour mark before uh, nine minutes ago. Even though I, this is actually the fast game mode. So I think we are rather something like, well, 50 minutes in the game. All this recording is lasting for 50 minutes, but we'll, so, we'll, make, uh, we'll get how this works soon enough. And then, um, if this continues to go like this recent battle has gone, and considering uh, that somebody only camps, actually, he appears to be housed, so he cannot make any more units. Apparently somebody wants to quit, but he doesn't want to go without a fight. So I of course um, suggest that he fights against Peppa, because uh, if Peppa was able to tank these attacks from purple and yellow, he's probably going to be able to tank orange too. Considering that he has some kind of unlimited hussars with the stables, I think these hussars are produced in 7 seconds, I'm not sure. I don't play Prussia, to be honest I don't play anything apart from Scotland, but uh, so I don't have really really have an idea. And even if I do, I almost always go for the Dragoons, simply because I like firepower. This might be the wrong decision, but uh, who could judge me? Nobody can, and that's why. That's a lot of units, and now he isn't housed anymore, so now he's producing units again. At least from his stable in 18 barracks, I'm not sure, he might have actually stopped to produce 17 musketeers. At least from the looks of it, the barracks are not working. And it, it's almost certain I think that he stopped making these, now he's making some grenadiers. That's a lot of cavalry, however it's a mixture between dragoons and cuirassiers from one player. Means that he lost valuable time that he could have as well spent that well have spent making twice the dragoons than curacies and twice the dragoons are very mu very much more effective against infantry whilst they perform worse against dragoons I guess this might actually work some work out somewhat but um, it is most certainly not going to win against Pepper's musketeers for this job they are simply too weak even though it's fodder, and if he uses fodder smartly, he might actually kill quite a lot of them, but he's not going to win in my opinion. Considering that Papa is staying in his base for now, he is going to have an easy access to more units from the stream. Therefore he is having more units efficiently on the front, whilst Orange is still sitting back with his entire army. I'm not sure why, if this guy wants to quit he just he should just go in and not camp. That's just boring in my opinion. But he's going in with his cavalry.
And he's going to get squashed, I think. Pepper's Curaceers, uh, not no, his Hussars, are engaging with the Curaceers. Most of them are probably going to find their end right here. I'm not sure actually, the Curaceers crumble hard because of the firepower of Pepper. We can actually see that most of these dead, of these dead horsemen appear to be actually Curaceers, not Hussars. But there was a substantial amount of Hussars loss. Look at all this carnage! Look at look at all this damage here. And that's mostly just Curiousiers and Hussars, so um that's a lot of damage certainly. I fear that this game might actually never end if everybody continues to camp. And if that's the case, um, if there's nothing major going to move, if there's nothing major going to move, I'm actually going to stop the recording, I'm sorry, but uh, I've got to get this video out today. And um, I don't even know if my uh, my hard drive can uh, save this entire video, considering that the seven minute video was already what was it 400 megabytes. I don't even want to imagine how much a one hour video is. Probably multiple gigabytes. And I only have a hard drive that can take like 450 gigabytes. It's better than my previous one though. My previous one could only take 200. Now I have way more, way more space for games and uh, recordings, of course. Apparently I managed to persuade Beppa into attacking. And I'm not sure what just happened here. I think that soldier suicided all of his peasants and failed to make a bigger army. I don't even know if he actually had a lot of peasants. What we can uh, that's what's this, that's what the statistics are for. He had one thousand peasants and he just killed all of them. All right. It is impressive how many peasants some people make. I almost found myself having a good enough economy with 500 peasants and uh, not making any more from that point on because I'm just getting housed from it. And I think that Beppa might actually go in into a stand ground formation. I'm not sure. I don't think that soldiers actually go into um, fight by friendly means, considering this is an FFA. And the rules are basically unwritten. There is no rules, basically. Apart from the rules that I set in the lobby. Which I also gotta look into the lobby a bit more, finding out what is actually 5k 
so we uh, don't have to see videos on 4K that are torturing everybody because nobody knows how to play that. And he's making some peasants again. Probably he realized that he cannot live without an economy, at least not for long. Everybody needs some ammunition and food for the soldiers, of course. And gold too. Gold mines are nice, but uh, when your army gets big, no gold mine can support your your um, usage, your maintenance of mercenaries and all that stuff. And a big battle is starting. And I'm sorry for the lag once more, but I cannot really change it. That's a lot of fodder from Soldier, but then again, since he only camped, it's uh, understandable why there is so much fodder. Lepper is smashing through the formation of him, attacking his musketeers. Well, he did kill some of them, but um, he got quickly reversed. And the Bepper got completely smashed, which uh, was, was, um, you could have seen this coming, but, uh, uh, yeah, somebody had to make the first step. And Pepper has a building famine, now his buildings are dying. And there he goes. I hope that purple is not going to do the same thing as orange now. Yellow certainly seems eager to fight and probably die, but um, at least he's doing something, I mean. Apparently purple is now mobilizing against orange, which is a good thing, considering uh, though the army is huge, probably purple is also going to win. I think that orange was a little bit too cocky with his statement that his army is too big to fight anyone. Because this army is way bigger and it has fodder, whilst his army lost all of his fodder, if it even had fodder during the weapon fight. And I don't know why he's actually making grenadiers. He should just go with the musketeers, they are way more, they are way cheaper. And whilst they have some less HP of course, uh, I think they are also a little bit faster made. I'm sorry if, I, if I'm wrong, but I, I play these nations so rarely. Yellow is taking a nice hill position, which is never going to be used, because nobody is uh, honestly said stupid enough to go into this. Except for probably Purple, who has an army this big, that can actually that, that, that could actually support it. Oh, and Orange is going for the massive house, house booming. 
If he can hold off the forces of purple long enough, they are going to inflict a lot of damage, but he apparently isn't able to do this. That's unfortunate, but uh, pulling out these house strategies is often very hard, because people mostly just go out of it, like me for example, or purple basically. Yeah, but they still did a tiny amount of damage right here and right here. It wasn't a lot, but uh, it's something, I mean. And Yellow's Curiosities are once more killing themselves. I really don't know what this guy's idea actually is. But um, it's fine, I won't judge that. He appears to be quite new, I don't know his, ex his exact win count. And even like this, I'd probably say he's just trying to have fun. And this is probably the last battle that we are going to see where it's like la this laggy. Um, once more apologizing for the like 15th or 16th time now. Uh, my PC re really isn't made, slash my internet really isn't made for this kind of huge grand scale battle. And purple for some reason is falling back a bit. Giving Orange more time to shoot uh, his musketeers. Because Purple already lost all of his foo his fodder, while uh, Orange still has some curiosities left. At least I think that Purple has no more fodder. I don't see any more fodder. Ouch, that's some major damage right here. These people went down like faster than like a chainsaw. And I hope that orange, actually orange already quit. Now it's just um, yellow left. And uh, I apo also apologize for the lag whilst the buildings are despawning. Because when they are getting destroyed, uh, it's, not, it's, it's not that laggy, but when they get despawned, I always have problems with lags. And it appears like yellow is trying to be a brave man and go for this little hill here. However, he's fairly out of position to do this, and now he's even facing the wrong way. I'm not sure, probably he's Italian during World War II, but uh, once more I'm not here to judge this. He's definitely picking the worst battle he could ever, he could ever choose. At least he's using a line formation with this formation, I think. Actually, no, that's still his square formation. The square formation is quite nice if you use pikemen, but with musketeers it's really more efficient to go line. Except if you are standing in, in, inside of somebody's base, like let's say at these mills. Then you can use the square formation. It's actually going to be better because your men are more densely packed. They are not going to get distracted by pikemen coming out of the barracks or so. Making, uh, making them unable to shoot and basically die. So it's going to be a better time if you do it like this. Optionally you could also always always have some archers or grenadiers with you, so you don't even have to wait in someone's base. And purple is going to charge this little hill position of yellow. Which yellow's army of course is completely insuperior. Making the hill basically worth nothing. Yep, that was quite some carnage. And yellow still hasn't patched up the holes in his wall that I have made. And that uh, orange has made with his Hakapalitas. Which means that his end is going to come very soon. To be honest, I think that he could just move in with his dragoons right now and still win.
And apparently we have a winner now. With Sonic, because the yellow just quit. Yeah. Yeah, so, um... I guess we have a winner. It's Sonic, as I previously said. I don't know why I said it again. Um... Yeah, anyway, this is over. Mm, I don't have any words afterwards for this. You can have a look at the statistics. You might need to pause for this, if you want to take a closer look at it. Yeah, I am. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this battle, and um, I hope that uh, it isn't actually too laggy. I hope that you can excuse me, but um, yeah, I'm going to uh, see you in the next video tomorrow probably, or depends. I'm not sure when. We'll see anyway. However, well, um, have a nice day and bye bye.